Welcome to South Aussie Shooting Channel. Today's review is of the Evercool Portable uh, Fridge Freezer. We're going to go through the uh, owner's manual for the RF and ED models. When you uh, get your fridge, it will have the, uh, the model number and the serial number for your fridge. Uh, has the five year warranty so you get a book you'll get an information on the fridges and what they do and the different styles that you can have there's nine different things and you can customize where the latches and the hinges are has all the width and the weights and uh, different features also the uh, battery pack power has information on that you'll get the uh, warranty card here if you want to send that in fill out the top bit and keep the bottom bit for yourself it has agents here that are accredited that if you have a problem you can send it back or wherever you bought it from you can give it back to them we're in uh, South Australia so those places there but I got mine at uh, home of 12 volt northern and uh, if there's any problems it will go back to them has a problem solving chart on the back here if your fridge isn't running or not calling it has all the information here be able to work out what's wrong with the fridge. So we'll go through the uh, the manual now. As you can see here, it's a white uh, fiberglass box with the engine uh, compressor on the outside, as to not a uh, put heat through the uh, box. It puts it separate and keeps everything cool. This Evercool is an Australian-made um, company in uh, Queensland they make really good ice boxes and fridges and uh, it says here thanks for purchasing the Evercool the unit uh, is proudly designed and manufactured in Australia by Australians has a legendary insulated fiberglass cabinet uh, internationally proven uh, compressor technology and uh, it runs on 12 volt or 20 volt and uh, gives you some strong recommendations to uh, read the instructions before using your fridge so you know how to properly maintain it the unit is designed to operate either on 12 volt or 20 volt power source from 240 uh, mains supply by Evercool approved 12 volt 20 4 volt and 240 volt adapter can also be operated in remote areas from solar and generator power sources so it's all Evercool products are specifically designed to withstand Australian harsh operating conditions and is treated with care will provide you with many years of trouble free service on the next page we have how to connect it to your vehicle has the diagrams here that you have to separate your other equipment from connecting it with your fridge and uh, the correct way is to have them on separate leads and having other equipment running separate how to connect the mains using the adapter to the fridge and uh, hooking the solar up you don't just put the panel directly to the power source you put it through a battery and then it will run through your car that's how you would have it set up a little bit of information as well here that you can uh, pause and read the next page 4 we have 12 volt operation it says connect the military plug end of the fridge lead to the fridge 
push the cigarette lighter into the 12 volt or 20 volt power outlet and note using uh, the plug other than the cigarette lighter ensure that the polarity is correct positive to positive and negative to negative if required press the power button on the control panel to turn the fridge on control panel will light up indicating previous temperature setting the compressor will start and about two seconds later the motor will start the uh, display will illuminate and the compressor speed indicator will come on indicating the fridge is running and the evaporator plate inside the fridge will start to cool set the uh, temperature control is to, to the desired setting by pressing the up button or down button on the control panel in order to power save you may turn down the temperature setting or even switch the fridge off when it's not been opened for long periods overnight the 240 uh, 240 volts mains the unit operates on the main power source approved by the adapter and connect the uh, military plug into the adapter into the fridge and plug the three pin uh, plug into the mains it says uh, important notes here it says uh, do not run your fridge near flames and keep in a uh, cool position away from direct sunlight when travelling on rough roads Place 50ml high density foam under the fridge and secure it using tie down straps through the handles and to assist preventing from uh, reaching low voltage there's an automatic uh, turn off and uh, don't uh, leave the fridge running from the car battery with the engine not running for extended periods of time uh, without the engine running the batteries will eventually discharge enough to switch the uh, fridge off and take care with vehicles with older batteries smaller vehicles with lower rated batteries and we have a little diagram of all the little parts that we have on the fridge it says here that it's got the divider here to place it as a fridge freezer or placing that to the uh, front of the fridge where the evaporating plates aren't it becomes a full fridge you can take the baskets out if you like and remove the divider it has 45 millimeter insulation for the lid food quality uh, refrigeration foam white high gloss uh, inside and out reflects the heat it's got the drainage uh, bung on it so you can clean the fridge out minimum of 40 mil insulation uh, molded fiberglass construction uh, it's got protective corners on the bottom has uh, heavy duty suspension and um, fan assisted cooling tunnels and nylon molded handles and your control panel here has the wide angle fridges that uh, holds the lid in the open position and nylon uh, detachable hinges and says your Evercool fridge is uniquely designed to operate as a fridge freezer or fridge freezer combo when you first start the fridge remove the insulated internal divider which will allow airflow to, to circulate and bring down the temperature in the cabinet quicker once to the desired temperature is reached refit the divider between the baskets to operate the entire unit as a fridge or as a freezer remove the divider slide the basket towards the freezer plates and insert the divider into the far end of the cabinet set to the required temperature to operate as a 
fridge freezer combo divider can be remain between the baskets or by removing the fridge section baskets it can be moved within the cabinet therefore altering the size of both the fridge and the freezer compartments page 6 it explains the speed of the uh, motor of the high medium and low modes and the RPM that the compressor is running at it says it is designed to operate with three speeds high is 35 R RPM 3500 then we got medium which is 3000 RPM and low which is 2000 RPM the higher the speed the faster the compressor will operate and enable the unit to cool freeze quicker the uh, lower speed is more economical the unit operation hence lower power draw it has here what the digital uh, screen looks like here and what each button does on and off this is your speed setting it has the warmer up button and down is the cooler button and a fault light which is here with the little caution sign The power unit, the military plug power inlet socket is notched so that it can only be connected in the correct way. The uh, threaded ring locks the plug into place. It has a circuit breaker. Uh, it's fitted with 15 amp uh, circuit breaker. The purpose of the circuit breaker is to protect the compressor should it be in direct short to earth the power surge or faulty power supply if either or above will occur the circuit breaker will trip and it will cut off all the power to the unit as a result the lights on the control panel will go out reset uh, simply push down the back button on the uh, circuit breaker if Resetting the circuit breaker continues to trip. Please contact uh, Evercool service provider. It's got some uh, helpful hints here too. It says pre-chill the fridge before use, so connecting it to 240 power. Uh, on hot days, to raise the uh, divider up by um, plus or minus uh, 20 millimeters to give uh, better airflow through to the cabinet, um, maximum efficiency, um, regular rotate uh, contents of the fridge when operating as a freezer, uh, keep the uh, fridge as uh, full as possible, ideally should be at least 50% full. Use the uh, brackets provided to ensure air circulates uh, freely in the cabinet to protect the uh, cooling plate from potential damage keep the cover on the freezer section there's a little plastic uh, thing um, ensure air vents are not obstructed to allow airflow and avoid uh, placing hot or warm goods in the freeze Got here uh, storage uh, when you're gonna pack up the fridge and not use it for a period of time is uh, defrosting it if it's a freezer switch off the freezer and open the lid open a drainage bung and uh, drain the waste or if there's any water in there um, use the jug of water that's um, warm and it can be poured over the evaporator plates inside the cabinet assisting cleaning don't flood or fill the cabinet with water. Do not use sharp objects when cleaning or defrosting your Evercool. Keep it clean. Uh, wiping uh, both the exterior and the interior. Uh, a damp cloth with a mild non-abrasive uh, household detergent will dry thoroughly. Ensure fridge is completely defrosted and dry before turning back on. Always clean the fridge after use and before 
storage storage when storing your Evercore for any length the period of uh, time the uh, lid open a few millimeters and uh, remove the bung cap to prevent the build up mold of odors spray interior if necessary with the food guide anti mold and odor product we recommend that the fridge is operated at regular intervals for 24 hours once a month if it's being stored for any length of time remember your evercall can be used in home and additional fridge freezer using your power pack it says don't place uh, your AC adapter in any electrical equipment inside the fridge as condensation or moisture will cause electronics to fuse and burn out voiding the warranty so don't put your adapter in your fridge keep it separate then we have the maintenance so it's as the Evercool is portable unit likely subjected to a variety of different operating conditions um, maximum uh, operating efficiency will be recommended that the unit is regularly inspected by an Evercool service agent um, prior to commencing any maintenance ensure that the unit is not operating and is turned off from the power source so don't electrocute yourself the unit is designed to preventative maintenance is easy to undertake in the case of the RF models simply remove the six screws holding the compressor cover in place drop the cover forward and using a small brush vacuum or compressed air uh, clean any dust or dessert from the condenser coils don't use water to clean the condenser coils failure to regularly clean the coils may valid the warranty if the unit is exposed to rain or water remove the cover and dry as necessary has a fault finding guide if your fridge isn't running or you're having trouble uh, with it turning on it says if the control plate is lit up then it's not then it says check the power supply look at the leads if their wires are loose check the fridge uh, has been turned on and check the circuit break and push the reset button if it is uh, lit up and the fridge is still not running call the service provider and the number is provided here fridge running uh, but not calling it says if the yellow light is flashing if yes go to the diagnostic system below in this uh, book uh, if the compressor is running and the fridge is not calling call the service provider fridge is trying to start but it keeps cutting off then um, if the yellow light is fresh flashing use the diagnostic system low voltage check supply or the voltage drops read the section on bolt voltage drops in this manual then we have the actual what the yellow flashing lights mean Evercool uh, compressor has its own diagnostic system and the yellow flashing um, light count how many flashes each set is and the flash of the series between one and five flashes for every four seconds and one flash is the uh, fridge is cutting out because the supply voltage outside the cutout setting which is I think is 10.9 uh, volts um, two flashes is a condenser is uh, having uh, fan problems contact the service agent three flashes is a blocked uh, rotor different differential pressure in the system is too high can uh, get the service agent again four flashes is it's too much load and the motor can't handle the speed and five flashes the compressor is cutting out and it's uh, thermal protection and everything here is 
Condenser the fan failed and the ambient temperatures too high. Condenser cores blocked. Events are blocked. Catastrophic failure. Then we have simple tests. Uh, fridge does not operate in your vehicle. Uh, run the fridge from 240 power source via the AC adapter. If the fridge starts and runs, then the problem is your vehicle. Either the battery or the wiring. Uh, in the section voltage drops, uh, the AC adapter minimum of 10 amps at 12 volts and or 5 amps at 24 volts. Note that the Evercool AC adapter model EP24 delivers 24 volts. Fridge does not operate uh, from 240 power source using the an AC adapter. Run the fridge from your vehicle or fully charged 12 volt battery source. If the fridge starts and runs, then the problem is either the AC adapter or the fridge lead. Check the fridge lead by connecting the fridge to a 12 volt battery and if it operates the AC adapter is faulty. And uh, important to ensure all cases that the voltage at the end of the lead connecting to the fridge is adequate above 11 volts. Section on voltage drops and wiring requirements. Um, the majority of the customer inquiries are relating to voltage drops which means the power run the fridge is lost between the power supply and the battery in the fridge compressor. The fridge's compressor requires 10.9 volts, 12 volt and 22.7 volts for 24 volts to operate. If the trying, if the uh, voltage drops then these points or below, the fridge will default and you will hear the compressor trying to start every minute and so the yellow volt LED will be blinking once every four seconds. When a voltage drop occurs, the cigarette lighter in your car will be an average of two mil core. The wiring is too thin and the voltage uh, will drop from one end to the other. Evercore recommends a minimum of 6 mil core if the distance from the power source is over 6 meters then 10 core is the required wiring. Consult the auto electrician if you need to upgrade your wiring. Check for any dirty or loose connection to the battery outlet. Um, are there any uh, relays or aftermarket voltage protection devices in line for your fridge? These also have uh, voltage drops through them. Check the battery doesn't drop voltage under load. And here we come to that troubleshooting flowchart. If it's not running, it tells you what to check. Then we reach the uh, warranty here so at the back. I won't read all that. Your five years warranty. If any problems, contact your service agent. Thanks for watching, subscribe.